Big news in diabetes tech. Dexcom G7 was just approved for 15 day wear in the US. Fewer changes, less waste, and less hassle. But let's break down the details because there is a lot beneath the surface. Hey, it's Camille, Nodabetic, your diabetes tech guy. I've been living with type 1 diabetes for nearly 15 years and I've been YouTubing for eight, covering all of the most important things around diabetes tech. If you want more videos, make sure you subscribe down below. I would love to have you join the community. Until now, Dexcom G7 sensors in the US are approved for 10 and a half days. With this new 15 day approval, you will only need two sensors per month instead of three. Less changes, more convenient, less waste. What does this mean in practice? Well, it's the same system, no finger prick, same wearable, the same app, the same receiver, continues to be integrated with insulin pumps, just the sensor will last for additional five days. Dexcom says 15 day G7 will begin rollout later this year. No word on international rollout just yet. Now let's talk about sensor reliability because there are some important things you need to know. This new sensor is the most accurate G7 we've ever had with MART accuracy of 8%. However, reliability is down. In testing, only 74% of sensors lasted for 15 days. For comparison, 14 day Libre 3 has a survival rate of 83%, 9% more. On top of that, the current G7, I have to say, I have personally heard so much anecdotal evidence from people on my emails, YouTube comments, Instagram and Twitter saying that the reliability of sensors that they experienced recently really is questionable. Dexcom's policy is to replace sensors confirmed as product failures. For non-product failures, they offer up to three goodwill replacements per year. My view here is clear. They need to abolish the current sensor replacement policy and replace it with something significantly more flexible. It's simple chemistry and physics. Sensor that we wear on our bodies for longer last less. Look at 83% from Libre's free data. It's simple. The difference here is that Abbott currently does not have strict quota on their replacement sensors in the way Dexcom does. And in my view, Dexcom should be a lot more flexible with the replacement policy. Final thing on sensor reliability that you should know about is that in March of this year, Dexcom actually received an FDA warning letter following FDA's inspection of the manufacturing facilities. FDA identified issues in Dexcom's manufacturing process and quality management systems, including unauthorized changes to components using G6 and G7 without prior validation. Dexcom has responded by immediately ceasing distribution of sensors identified in FDA's warning letter and began actions to address all of FDA's concerns. Results of this inspection validate the anecdotal evidence that we've seen in the community from so many people saying that some batches of sensors that they get from Dexcom are just not at the quality that they expect. Last thing to note on the 15 day sensor is this is a huge step forward in terms of the environmental progress because it reduces the amount of sensors that you need because you can wear them for longer, meaning it reduces the plastic and carbon used in the production, distribution and afterlife. And so that's 15 day G7. I have to say personally, I am super excited that this new product is first being launched in the US, not in the UK, because it means I can stand back and you know, from a distance, observe what people are saying about the reliability and how the 74% reliability actually plays out in the real world, firstly. And then secondly, whether Dexcom decides to change their replacement policy. So I'm very looking forward to that. Let me know what you think about 15 day G7 in the comments. And if you have any questions, as always, drop them below and I will help you. Thanks so much for watching, it means a lot. Have a lovely rest of your day. And speak to you soon. Bye-bye.